This month on Mustang Magazine, we get an inside scoop on the school Wi-Fi network, seniors are earning college credits, the cooking club is fixing dinner, and challenge day takes over the auditorium. These stories and more on this December edition of Mustang Magazine. Welcome to another edition of Mustang Magazine. I'm Myra Hines. And I'm Tim Rose. Mustang Magazine is a show produced by advanced broadcast journalism students from Norwood High School. Recently, people around the country have been expressing their First Amendment rights by not standing for the national anthem. Motivated by similar reasons, some students at NHS began standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I recently caught up with some of them along with some faculty members to see what the reaction was like. It's a common routine for students across the nation to begin their school day by standing for the pledge. And Norwood High School is no different. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The entire student body recites the Pledge of Allegiance in unison as part of their daily morning news show. But a few students, such as sophomores Angie Verone and Greg Gassaway, have been expressing their First Amendment rights by not standing or fully participating in the morning routine. The reason that I sit is for the injustices, the inequalities, and the discrimination all throughout the country because we are not equal, we are not indivisible, there's not liberty and justice for all. Um, I just stand up and not say anything because I just don't like saying the um, under God because I'm atheist and it's honestly kind of bringing religion into schools. Reporting for Mustang Magazine, I'm Tim Rose. Nice work. Next up, we have a couple of seniors who are getting a head start on their college careers. Reporters Nick Parkinson and Rose Campbell show us how dual enrollment is saving them money and earning them advanced course credit. NHS students are taking classes at Massasoit Community College before they even have a high school diploma. It's all part of a program that's new to Norwood. Senior Colleen Osborne already has earned nine credits. You basically can take your general ed classes, which is like math, reading, English, things like that to just lower your coursework in college. Senior Coleman Ivory says on the first day he felt weird going into a college class. But like after I got there, like I talked to some of the kids in the class and like none of them were in high school obviously, but like you kind of just get, get to be familiar with them. So it was kind of just like... Thanks, Nick. Be sure and check with guidance to see if dual enrollment is right for you. Now let's change things up a bit. Recently, there's been a few changes at lunch in the cafeteria. Reporters Sam Nusset and Danny Quinn introduce us to the new school nutritionists and some new refreshments. The NHS cafeteria has made some changes to the drinks at lunch. I love them. It's one of the best things I've ever had. They're pretty good. On a scale of 1 to 10, they're 5. Because of the taste in the drink, it's overall great hydration. The new refreshments are provided by Polar Beverages and they include sports drinks and flavored waters. New school dietitian Kelsey Masses says the district wants to give the students more choices. And of course making it healthier options than going to the corner store and grabbing whether that's soda or energy drinks, but just to have more variety for students. Some students are concerned about the price. Thanks Danny. Hopefully the new drinks at lunch will be a permanent thing. They seem to be really popular along with some other snacks. Yeah, teenagers and snacking go hand in hand. In this next story, we catch up with the cooking club as they prepare some tasty snacks. Here they are now in their own words. Pouring it and peeling it and all that. Yeah, that's a lot. It takes like hours. Yeah. Like my, my dad. Cooking club started two years ago um, when I got this classroom. Uh, I used the kitchen. So I just put an announcement out there and kids showed up. So it was really student led. Thank you. This looks so cute. Yeah, you can watch it. We always like divide up into teams. So like for the stir fry, we had a vegetable team, chicken team, and a rice team. Keeping in the Thanksgiving theme, we have a quick story on a popular race that happens every year around this time. The annual turkey trot is a huge tradition that raises money for the NHS athletic program. Reporters Declan Tolman and Catherine Ryan bring us the story. 
A few days before Thanksgiving, runners gathered at Nord High School for the 30th annual Turkey Trot. This is my first time running the Turkey Trot and it's my first ro road race so I felt like it would be a good experience to run it. Uh, I've run the Turkey Trot the last four years so yeah it's been good. <laughs> Although some runners were new to this race, people tend to enjoy this event. I like the turkey trot because it's a great community event and I got to run with a lot of my friends. Uh, I like how it's uh, like four miles, it's not a 5k. Reporting for Mustang Magazine, I'm Kiki Ryan. Thanks guys. If you missed this year's turkey trot, don't worry. The race will be back next fall. Right now we have a story from you, right? Yes. Recently I sat down with IT Director Joe Kidd to talk about how the district is managing all the network traffic. Students using the guest Wi-Fi have noticed that some of their favorite apps are now blocked. I don't think it's good. Uh, it's too slow and a lot of stuff are blocked anyway, so you can't really use it. You have to use data. Director of Technology Joe Kidd says the guest Wi-Fi isn't there for streaming and social media apps. He also says too many students streaming apps can cause the overall network to slow down. So the more devices that you have online, the more traffic you generate. And the more of those devices that are uh, using streaming video or audio, the more traffic that uh, also generates. So the school network is complex. It services the entire school district, including five elementary schools, one middle school, and one high school. Thanks for watching. To see more stories like these, visit us online at mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. See you later, Mustangs. Oh, here we go. This is the best oh, this one. Is the awkward one. The best one. <laughs> yes, recently I have filled a pop. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I can't get that. I don't know what I'm going to say. Okay, I'm just now gonna like I'm definitely hungry. <laughs> we have to do that again, because yeah. that was just bad. I didn't even know what I was saying. Oh, oh reporters. <laughs> I didn't know I had another line. Yeah. Yes, recently yeah. I filed a report about the Nord Mustangs. Why do I keep saying that? That is power. I don't know why I say next week. What does it say? Next? Next, next story. In this next story, okay. And in this next week's story, I said it again. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe this is like I don't know why I keep saying next week. Like, like next, next week, week is oh, not okay. in it. To see more stories like these, visit us online at www. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. To see more stories like these, visit us online at www.mustangmedia.media. Nope. I didn't know it was dot media. Mustang dot media. Mustang dot media. Mustang dot media.